Hey guys and welcome to the most important video I think I'm going to do on my channel and today we're doing a one-way mountain guide for beginners. Um, we're currently sat at the bottom of the mountain road in the heat of TT as we can see there are bikes absolutely everywhere and the mountain predictably is shut. This is a regular occurrence. If you come over for TT and you want to do the mountain in the middle of the day chances are it is going to be shut at some point when you try and get up. The masses of bikes and the influx of new people to new roads inevitably leads to uh, crashes and accidents and as a result the mountain is shut uh, whenever that happens it's not uh, an option to kind of close one lane because it's a completely de-restricted road now the mountain's normally two-way it is a public road and for TT, because we had a spree of bad head-on accidents, they decided to make the mountain one way. Just watching. They said they said about 20 minutes till we open. I'm obviously going to sit here and then we're going to do the uh, video o over. Um, we'll go through the main rules for riding on the mountain road while we're down here. Uh, three rules as far as I'm concerned. The first is keep left and don't undertake. We drive on the left hand side of the road in the UK and you want to treat the mountain road, uh, the lane wise, as a dual carriageway. The left hand lane is for riding in, driving in, and the right hand lane is for overtaking. If you do need to do a maneuver, this is where the next rule comes in. You want to check your mirrors, and I don't mean check your mirrors as in check your mirrors briefly. You have to bear in mind that if you're following a car doing 40, 50 miles an hour, there could be a bike coming up behind you at the best part of 150 miles an hour. If you look in your mirror and you see something back there, you have to make very sure that they are not coming up there at such excess speed that you're going to pull out and they're not going to be able to stop in time. A lot of accidents on the mountain road are due to people rear-ending because people don't check their mirrors. So it's very important to check your mirrors. Now, the last rule is the 95% rule is what I call it. When you're up there, obviously, you've got the, you've got the go to go fast. You can, you can go fast, but you do not want, you want to ride within your limits. And I say the 95% rule because it means you use 95% maximum of your own ability. And that always means you've got that little 5% held back just in case you come around the corner and there's a car on its roof or... You know, a bike has had a crash and he's in the middle of the road and you need to react to that. So 95% rule, never, ever, ever ride at 100% up there. It is too dangerous. You'll come around the corner some days. Yes, only yesterday I was up there and the bike in front of me crashed and he sent most of the fairings of his bike in bits, uh, parts of the hedge, earth, rocks, sods, all across the road. Uh, we were traveling fairly quickly in fifth gear and we only just made it through and the only reason we made it through that was I still had a little bit in reserve and I managed to pick my way through the debris and make it around the next corner and this is something that you have to keep in the back of your mind when you're up there. I know it's tempting and the, the red mist comes down that you just want to go as fast as you possibly can, be a TT racer, but it is a public road at the end of the day. There's people with their kids in the cars going over just on normal errands. This is, at the end of the day, still the Isle of Man people's roads, you know? So you've got to treat it with respect. Now, obviously, as I said, we're sat here and it's closed. And uh, I'm going to sit around and wait for it to open. And I will see you guys when it opens. And we'll go through the actual full one-way system. Right, so it is the next day, actually. Um... Not gonna lie, I uh, got on and said screw it to the video <laughs> and went flying over. And then I uh, came back around, went to go and actually do it, ended up flying over again and my bike broke down. So, bike is fixed, <clears throat> all ready to go. Uh, it's about nine o'clock in the morning and the road is fully open as I'm aware. Uh, one thing I didn't mention yesterday is the matrix signs. The matrix signs are the big signs, electric signs that will tell you any issues that are on the mountain. They're all around the course as well, so they'll tell you lots of information. So if you're coming up and you're not sure what the conditions are like up there, uh, the matrix signs will inform you if there's an oil spill, if there's fog, if there's sheep holding up the road at gunpoint, whatever it is, the, the matrix signs will usually say it. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to bumble across the mountain at the sort of beginner speeds that uh, you would be expected to go, sort of 50, 60 mile an hour. Um, Obviously, I'm going to have all the uh, big boys flying past, but that's not really a problem. Now, 
we're coming up. This is where the one-way system begins with the cones. Um, as you can see, no bicycles. So do not try and ride your bicycle over here. Uh, this is a 30 limit here. And uh, don't speed. What's the point? The police like to sit up at the hairpin and they will have speed guns on you. And frankly, you've got a de-restricted mountain road up there. If you're speeding in the 30 zone, you deserve to get caught as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, pop up here. As I said, the police all sit here and they sit here basically to close the road if it, if it needs to be and to respond as quickly as possible to accidents. Obviously they can't come the other way, so they sit at the start because you never know where the accident's gonna be. So we'll go around the hairpin. Now they put the cones kind of on the racing line. Um, they keep it a single line. So don't overtake in here. Uh, a few of the big boys will overtake you if you are all the way over to the left, but if you just stick at 50 mile an hour up here, um, you shouldn't have a problem. And we'll get up to the bit where the cones go off, and uh, that's where the mountain starts one, uh, starts one way in earnest, basically. And that's the bit where the big boys will warm their tires up, and that, for you, is where you'll just kind of get a little bit settled into your rhythms and just uh, make sure you're all prepared for what is a very unique experience. <clears throat> so yeah, as I said, uh, this is a public road, guys. This is a highway. Lots of people use it, not just bikes, cars, lorries. Anything that's legally allowed will be on it, okay? So you've just got to remember that it's not a racetrack. The thing that I would compare it to would be the Nürburgring, a toll road. So one thing you do want to watch out for is there are pull-in areas, uh, places that you can pull over. I take my dogs in there to go to go and walk them. Um, but there's places that you can pull in to uh, to have a chat with your mates, take a photo, to watch the bikes go past. I don't have a problem with you, you doing that, but just make sure, if you are going to do that, you have to make sure that you're looking in your mirrors and you make very clear what your intentions are. Indicators on nice and early. Get over to that side of the road, constantly looking in the mirrors. So around the gooseneck, there is where is the first place um, you'll have your photo taken. Fan TT Tastic and uh, One Way Photographic are the uh, are the guys who uh, will be taking your photos. There we are. I'll just let the boys get past so you can actually hear what I'm saying. So they're all out for an early morning run. I think this guy he knows me. He's probably wondering what I'm doing. So yeah, now we're into de-restricted. This is where you can go as fast as you want. I'm not gonna go as fast as I want because I'm doing the video from a beginner's point of view. I'm trying to explain to you guys how you're expected to ride. So obviously we're in the left-hand lane, we're right in the middle of our lane and we're checking our mirrors a lot. Even if we're not doing a maneuver, i.e. changing lanes, we're still checking our mirrors just to check, up, check on what's coming up behind us. <clears throat> so we're gonna accelerate up to 50. And we're gonna kind, of, kind of sit at about 50, 60 uh, for the whole marathon. As I said, it's a, it, you want to treat it like a dual carriageway, like it's one side of a dual carriageway. So you drive on the left, if you need to overtake, then you use the right hand lane. Now I'm looking behind me, I have got a car coming up, but he's not going that quickly. So I'm gonna indicate, I'm gonna overtake, check in my mirrors, I'm gonna pull straight back in. Straight back into the left hand lane. And then this guy, I mean, look at that. He's in a people carry, he's probably doing 70, 80 mile an hour up there. Stay left and just constantly, you want to be eyes on stalks up here, eyes on stalks. It is a very, very dangerous environment if you don't know what you're doing. Once you're a bit more experienced, obviously, you'll kind of settle into the rhythms. Now, the uh, first pullover point when we're in the actual mountain is here. Now, this is uh, Guthrie's. Now, as you can see, a guy's pulled over on the right. I don't approve of that. That means you've got to be over on the right. If you're going to pull over, I say you pull over on the left there. There is the uh, second place that you'll have your photos taken, so uh, make sure you've got your uh, your good smile on if you're going around there. But yeah, if you're pulling over there, pull over on the left, guys, and then if you have to go over to the other side, listen very carefully and uh, uh, run across, and my God, get off there quickly, because boys come around there really quickly. Now, we're onto the mountain mile. This is the uh, fastest part of the mountain, and this is where I would say the you're most at risk if you're deciding to overtake a van or something at sort of 50, 60 miles an hour. So as I said, we're gonna cruise up here at sort of 50, 60 miles an hour. Um, 
boys will come past you here 170 mile an hour plus okay so you've got to bear in mind even if you think you are going fast you're probably not okay it doesn't matter how quick you think you are there is always someone faster and as a result just stay in the left hand lane i don't care how fast you are just stay in the left hand lane and check your mirrors it doesn't matter how fast i'm going i always check my mirrors it's uh it's a good habit to get into and it just means i've never had an accident up here i've been riding 10 years up here i ride quick and uh just little safety things like that are the reason why how you change it from being a, a dangerous experience into a a safer thrilling experience i'm not going to say it's a safe experience because it, it's really not yeah on the mountain mile this is as i said nice big straight bit if you want to if you want to test out the legs on your bike you want to do it at the start where it's straight up here uh, i can see i've got a couple of quick boys coming up behind me now so i'm just watching them in the mirror i'm staying well over to the left they're going to fly past me here and just they can see what you're doing okay don't do anything that's going to upset them at the end of the day they want to see that you're doing the predictable thing of staying in your lane and staying at a normal speed okay but you have to make sure you're aware and this is another place you can pull over if you're pulling over there put your right indicator on 100 meters beforehand get well over to the right hand part of the lane and just make sure that anybody coming up behind you um, a can see you and b that you don't pull out in front of them for the maneuver as they're coming past so onwards and over as you as you can see we've got an ambulance up here so we're going to have to pass them in a second. So I'm already looking in my mirrors and I can see there's two fast boys back there. They're about half a mile back already, but they are closing something. Look, they're here already. I mean, this is what you've got to watch out for. If you're going to pull out for an overtake, you have to make sure, you have to make sure that no one's coming up behind you quickly. And I can see I've still got bikes coming up behind me. Still got bikes coming up behind me. They're doing 100 plus mile an hour. There's no point me pulling out at 50, 60 mile an hour to overtake them. Uh, if I'm going to get in their way and possibly cause an accident at the end of the day. So I'm clear. I'm clear now. So go past, check my mirrors, right back into the left-hand lane. And uh, continue cruising. But I'm always, I'm enjoying the experience obviously, but I'm always looking in my mirrors. Now you used to be able to pull over here. This has been coned off now. I think it is too dangerous. Boys come around here at 130, 140 mile an hour. Allowing people to pull in there, especially in cars and vans and things, is just suicidal. So they've blocked that off. Don't pull in there. So we're onto the straight towards the bungalow. You can probably see the uh, tram tracks going up the side. And uh, the cones come back in for a one way. And this is basically a filter system because we have a turn in from faulty wheel. And uh, it just makes it, it makes it a little bit safer. It's not a problem in my opinion. So we'll come around here. I've forgotten what that corner is called. And into the one way system again. Or rather the one lane system again. It's an absolutely beautiful uh, day, even week on the Isle of Man. I think it's going to be a superb TT this year. And as a result, the boys are out in force. They're absolutely flying around. And uh, there are going to be an increase in accidents. We've had a lot of people complaining this year. But with the weather comes the accidents. That's just how it works. We've got thousands and thousands of bikes. Not every single one is going to ride perfectly. And just one can shut them out for hours. So. so around here, the police like to sit here. You can pull in and park up there if you want to sit and watch. And the police, they will sit there and watch you go past. You can go up here at 150, 160 mile an hour if you want, and they will sit and watch. That's one of my favorite things. There you are, that guy was already doing about 150 past me there. It wasn't even halfway up the straight. So yeah, we'll cruise up here. Now you can pull over there and stop. Now, this is, I would say, the most dangerous place is up here. Uh, this is Brandywell. Now, if you want to pull over at Brandywell, you want to make sure you're looking in your mirrors already. I, I can see back there, I've got a couple of bikes coming up quickly. If I wanted to pull over, I'd have my right indicator on. I'd be right over on the other side of the road, indicating, sat up, making myself very clear to the guys coming up behind that that is what I'm doing. And I'm gonna ride and very, very gently ride up and pull up around the bales. Do not park on the, on the uh, basically you're in the firing line if someone comes off. A lot of people crash on Brandywell. You want to make sure that you pull around the bales and park on the other side so your bike doesn't get hit if somebody else comes off. And 
into the three corners before windy. Okay, still checking our mirrors. I've just, it's much better for you to be prepared. These bikes are very loud and they come up quick and my God, they give you a shock if you're not expecting them. So it's always good just to be glancing in your mirrors and just bearing, bearing in mind, you can, people have their headlights on, you can see them from a mile off. So you just watch them, watch them coming up behind and then when they come flying past, like I saw this guy from miles off, can't hear him yet, suddenly he's there. So you've just got to, you've got to keep that in mind. Uh, this is the other place you'll have your uh, photo taken. This is Gary at Fan TT Tastic, uh, taking pictures of everyone there. Um, not gonna lie, he's probably wondering what I'm doing. I'm normally going around there at twice the speed and showing off for him, but that's Windy Corner as well. Obviously, if you want to pull over and stop at Windy, that's fine. That's actually quite a safe place to pull over. Just whack your indicator on and stay well over to the left, check your mirrors and get off the road as soon as possible. So I'll come down here, we're, we're coming towards the end of the mountain now, we've got 33rd down there. Also quite a dangerous corner, I'm not sure what it is about it. I absolutely love it, um, but a lot of people seem to crash there. So still checking our mirrors. This again, if you're if you're going slowly around here, you people come 160, 170 mile an hour down there and they will be right out on the racing line and they will cut in. So these boys, I can see them coming up, so I'm going to stay right over by the left-hand lane, left-hand side, so they can come flying past if they need to. It is legal to cross the double whites. It's extreme caution is advised by the police, but the double white lines are not enforced during TT, and frankly, in my opinion, that's a great idea. It actually makes it much safer. It means you've got much more room to manoeuvre. You haven't got this little niggle at the back of my mind of, oh, I'm breaking the law if I cross the line here, if you need to get past someone or someone does something stupid. So this is the end of the one-way mountain system. We're into the 60 zone now. I think that's the slowest I've done the mountain for about 10 years. And we're just going to come down towards the Craigner Bar here, and this is where... Uh, this is where you'll pull up, you'll wait for your mates, you'll have a chat about how quick you all went and how fun it was, and then uh, you'll decide on what you're gonna do for the rest of the day. For me, it's gonna be go and get the missus, stick her on the back, and we're uh, gonna go and do the mountain a few times before it inevitably gets shut. So yeah, we'll come down here. Now this is a speed limit zone. Again, you've just had your chance to go quick. There's no point speeding down here. Um, there is a police car down there. There usually is a police car down there, and uh, just cruise down here, let your bike cool down. It's, it's just worked hard over the mountain. Well, mine hasn't, but yours probably has. So just cruise down here, let your bike cool down, and then pull up at the crag or crack on. If you want to go back to do the uh, to do the mountain again, you want to turn left down the Craig back road. I've already done a video on that. I'll link it in the description. And if you're going to continue with the course, obviously you want to turn right. And uh, we will pull up at the traffic lights. I'm going to pull over at the crag and. Uh, show you guys what the crack is there. There's not very many guys about at the moment. Oh, I say policeman stood there watching everyone. I'll pull in on the left. And normally there's two, three hundred bikes here, but uh, obviously early in the morning. Oh, not that many people out yet. I think we've got a few sore heads from last night. But yeah, that is, that is the mountain road, guys. And I hope you enjoyed the guide and be safe up there. At the end of the day, the things that I was trying to drill into you was the, uh, was the checking your mirrors and constantly being aware of other road users at the end of the day. If you're aware of the other uh, road users, then you're much safer for them and for yourself as well. So stay safe up there and uh, enjoy it. It's a, it's a unique experience. It's a once in a lifetime experience. And uh, if you get to go up there a few times and you get used to it, then you really can uh, push like you can't push anywhere else. But safety is the main thing guys stay safe okay i'll see you in the next video like comment and subscribe